Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the memorial of St. Dominic, the founder of the Order of Preachers. And we pray for the grace that even in our frail and weak faith, we may be able to beg God and seek the presence of God in our lives. Let us acknowledge our sins and humbly commend ourselves to the unfailing mercy of God. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May St. Dominic come to the help of your Church by his merits and teaching, O Lord. And may he, who was an, out an outstanding preacher of your truth, be a devoted intercessor on our behalf. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Numbers. Miriam and Aaron spoke against Moses on the pretext of the marriage he had contracted with a Cushite woman. They complained, Is it through Moses alone that the Lord speaks? Does he not speak through us also? And the Lord heard this. Now Moses himself was by far the meekest man on the face of the earth. So at once the Lord said to Moses and Aaron and Miriam, Come out, you three, to the meeting tent. And the three of them went. Then the Lord came down in the column of clouds, and standing at the entrance of the tent, called Aaron and Miriam. When both came forward, he said, Now listen to the words of the Lord. Should there be a prophet among you, in visions will I reveal myself to him. In dreams I will speak to him. 
not so with my servant Moses. Throughout my house, he bears my trust. Face to face, I speak to him, plainly and not in riddles. The presence of the Lord he beholds. Why then did you not fear to speak against my servant Moses? So angry was the Lord against them, that when he departed and the cloud withdrew from the tent, there was Miriam, a snow-white leper. When Aaron turned and saw her a leper, he said to Moses, Ah, my Lord, please do not charge us with the sin that we have foolishly committed. Let her not thus be like the stillborn babe that comes forth from its mother's womb with its flesh half consumed. Then Moses cried to the Lord, Please, not this. Pray, heal her. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned, that you may be justified in your sentence, vindicated when you condemn. Indeed, in guilt was I born, and in sin my mother conceived me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not off from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and precede him to the other side of the sea while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once, Jesus spoke to them, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, Command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened. 
and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him. And he said to him, O you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. After making the crossing, they came to the land of Genezareth. When the men of that place recognized him, they sent word to all the surrounding country. People brought to him all who were sick and begged him that they might touch only the tassel on his cloak, and as many as touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Two characters from our readings today would expose a similar disposition. Moses, on our, in our first reading today, and Peter, in our gospel, both begged the Lord. Moses begged the Lord to pardon the fault of his friends. Peter begged the Lord to save him, to save the disciples, to save them from the perils of the storm. Although they both begged the Lord, this too exposed two different dispositions on the one hand. Moses, as the book of Numbers described him, was the meekest of all men. While Peter, we heard it clearly that he was at the brink and in the experience of disbelief and in shallow faith. Maari po nating sabihin, big faith, small faith, little faith. My dear friends, these experiences can truly bring this lesson to all of us. Whether you have a big faith or small faith, you have the capacity, we have the capacity to beg God, to call on God. Hindi lamang ang may mga malalim, malalalim na pananampalataya o yung mga malalapit sa Diyos ang may kakayanang tumawag sa Diyos. Bagkus, kahit ang may mahina at sa minsang nagdududang pananampalataya, makakalapit at makakatawag sa Diyos. We have cultivated ways how we can beg and pray to God. And maybe because of these practices, these types of prayer, these types of communion with God, nasabi natin na we are already, we already established a firm connection with God. But then we will be hearing, and this is true, people or friends telling us, Brother, sister, pag-pray mo naman ako, ibulong mo naman ako sa Diyos, ipagdasal mo naman ako kay Lord, malakas ka sa Kanya eh. Meron yatang express lane yung inyong dasal sa Diyos. Mabilis-bilis tumugon ang Diyos kapag ikaw ang nagdadasal. Sa akin yata mahina yung connection ko sa langit. My dear brothers and sisters, to these people, to these friends of ours, may we stand as an encouragement telling them, kahit na maliit, 
kahit nagdududa, kahit payak ang pananampalataya, kahit maliit ang pananampalataya, malakas ka sa Diyos. Makakadasal ka. Dinig na dinig ka ng Diyos. Pakikindak, pakikinggan ka ng Diyos. Magduda man, maliit man ang pananalig, God hears you and will respond to you lovingly. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Dominic and we are one with the whole Dominican family as they celebrate the feast of their father and founder. St. Dominic had multiple ways of prayer. One very simple yet profound way of prayer Dominic did was to stand or to be in front of a crucifix and gaze at the face of Jesus dearly and with extreme dialogue and intimacy. It could be possible that Dominic would not always be at the height of his faith and even prayer. He sometimes felt the desolation of life. But even with the joy and deep faith, even in sorrows and trials, even in the experience of this little faith, Dominic never neglected looking at Jesus and begging Jesus. And with that, what is big remained firm. What is little become deep. My dear friends, big faith or small faith, we all have the capacity to beg. Begging in faith, begging in big faith, may it strengthen what is already in us. Begging even in our small and frail faith, may it deepen the growing faith in us. Please stand. Let us make our prayers as God's faithful people looking to Jesus. As he encouraged the wavering faith of Peter, so we know he is always with us. His hand outstretched to strengthen us and raise us up. For every intention, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church of God, visibly united around the successor of Peter and the Apostles, may be guided by the power of the Lord's presence amidst the crises and storms that they encounter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That there may be peace and justice in those nations divided by war, and conflicts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that those who are drifting aimlessly in the stormy seas of life may find in the church a haven of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer, that the sick may find consolation in Christ's healing mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the faithful departed may find heavenly rest in God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord all the prayers offered in this Mass, the prayers of our dear brothers and sisters joining us via online streaming, our prayers for one another, and our own intentions.
For all of these we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, as you receive these prayers, grant us strong faith and abiding trust in your Son, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Attend mercifully to the prayers we offer you, O Lord, by the intercession of St. Dominic, and through the great power of this sacrifice, strengthened by the protection of your grace, those who champion the faith, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Dominic, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our, our daily, daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. May your church, O Lord, receive with wholehearted reverence the power of this heavenly sacrament by which we have been nourished on the commemoration of St. Dominic. And may your church having flourished by means of his preaching, be helped through his intercession. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you.